Welcome to Electron Online, and here's our first example of how to use the superposition technique to solve a relatively simple circuit, but we still have two voltage sources there that always complicates things. So what we're going to do is realize via the superposition technique that something like this, a circuit with two sources, can be simply written as an algebraic sum of the circuit with each source separated like that. If we're trying to find the voltage at this location right here at this node and the current through the 6 ohm resistor, we can do that by doing that independently on these two circuits and then adding them algebraically together. So let's find the voltage source over here. Let's call that V1 and let's call the voltage source over here, or I say the voltage at the node right there, uh, V2. They're of course not sources, but the voltage at those two nodes. I can see here that we have a parallel circuit. We have a 6 ohm resistor and a 3 ohm resistor. So the equivalent circuit of that, if I want to draw it like this, so the equivalent circuit, here's the node, here's my 4 ohm resistor, here's my source, there's the equivalent resistor, so this is still a 4 ohm resistor, but these two, when you combine them, that's the product over the sum, 3 times 6 is 18, the sum is 9, that would be a, an equivalent of a 2 ohm resistor. Notice that we have a total resistance of 6 ohms. That means I total is equal to V divided by R total. In this case, we have a 4 volt source, 4 volts divided by the total resistance of 6 ohms, which is equal to 2 thirds of an amp, or 0 0.667 amps, would be the current through, through the 4 ohm resistor and through these combined. We can then say that V1 can be found by realizing here if this is at zero potential and this is at four potential, we can see what the voltage drop is from there to there. So I can, we can say that V1 is equal to four volts minus the voltage drop across the four ohm resistor. That would be four ohms times the current to that, which would be 6.667 amps. And I think I'll grab a calculator for that. 4 minus 4 times 0.66666 equals, and I get 1 point, so V1 is equal to 1.333 volts. What is the current to the 6 ohm branch? Well, if the total current is equal to I t.667 amps, then how does it split between those two? So I can say that the current through the 6 ohm resistor is equal to the total current I total times the ratio of the resistance of the other branch, which is 3 divided by the total, which is 6 plus 3, which means 3 ninths or one third of the total current. So this is equal to 2 thirds of an amp for the total current. Multiply this times one third. That's equal to 2 ninths of an amp. What's 2 divided by 9? 2 divided by 9 equals, that would be 0 0.222 amps. So now we have the current through the 6 ohm resistor and the voltage at this node because of the first voltage source or the 4 volt voltage source. Now let's do it again for the 8 volt source. Here we can see that we, now we have a parallel branch between the 6 and the 4 ohm resistor. So we can redraw the circuit as follows. So we have the voltage source right here, which is an 8 volt source. We have the 3 ohm resistor. And then we have the equivalent resistance of these two combined. So this is 3 ohms. And again, we use a product over the sum. That would be 6 times 4 divided by 6 plus 4, which is 24 divided by 10, which is 2.4 ohms. So this equivalent resistance is 2.4 ohms. We have a 3 ohm resistor and a 2.4 ohm resistor. That means that the current total is equal to uh, V over R, which is equal to 8 volts divided by the total of 5.4 ohms. So 8 divided by 5.4 is equal to 1.481 amps. That is the total current going through this resistor. It splits up between the two branches. First of all, we can find the voltage drop across the 3 ohm resistor, the voltage across the 3 ohm resistor. Let me just write 3 ohm resistor like that, is equal to I times R. 
The total is 1.481 amps times the resistance of 3 ohms. So times 3 equals, and that would be a 4.444 volt drop across that. Which means it started 8 volts. V2 can then be calculated to be 8 volts minus the voltage drop across the 3 ohm resistor 4.444. Put a minus in that, plus 8 equals and we get 3.556 volts at V2. Finally, we want to have the current through the 6 ohm resistor. Again, what we can do here is we know that there's a 1.481 amp current coming through here and split in between those two. So I through the 6 ohm resistor is equal to the total current, which is 1.481 amps. Multiply times the ratio of the resistance of the other branch divided by the total of the two six plus four That would be four tenths times 1.481 So let's do this again. So we have eight divided by 5.4 and then we multiply times four and divide by ten and we get 0 0.593 amps So we have the voltage at two, or I should say the voltage at the node, and we have the current to the 6 ohm resistor in our second circuit. Now we just have to do the algebraic sum. V is equal to the sum of the two voltages, V1 plus V2. V1 is at 1.333 volts, and V2 was at 3.556 volts. So when we add those together, we get 9, 8, 8 and 4. 4.889 volts for the voltage at the node. And secondly, we want to have the current through the 6 ohm resistor. So I through the 6 ohm resistor is equal simply to the sum of the two. That would be 0 0.222 amps plus 0 0.593 amps. 0 0.593 amps. We just have to make sure that the current flows in the same direction. You can see here that the current will come this way, split between that one and this one, so it's in this direction. So current is in this direction. And you can see here that it splits up between the two and the current will flow in this direction. So yes, current is the same direction for both. So we add them up. This is equal to 5, 2 plus 9 is 1, 1, 7, 8, 0 0.815 amps is the current to the 6 ohm resistor. And so you can see that once you find it for each individual source, then you simply do an algebraic sum and find the total for the current and the voltage at the node. And that's how it's done.